Hello, it's December 25th, actually, and what we're going to do today is outfit a computer engineering classroom at a local high school with a lot of computers. Basically, Micro Center reached out to us and they said, hey, we would like to sponsor you for something. And uh, I said, I don't really want your money right now. It was nothing personal, nothing against them. Just wasn't really feeling it. But what I told them was, what you can do is match my contribution to the classroom that Patrick Stone teaches, who's done power supply testing on our team. He teaches at a public high school locally. I said, hey, we're giving him 2,500 bucks to upgrade some of the systems there because he's running on old stuff where a lot of it has certain limitations. Can't really load Windows 11 on all the machines without hacking it. Stone is a phenomenal teacher. He does a great job of keeping the class engaged. He gives me tremendous hope for education. Uh, and so we wanted to upgrade them, and Micro Center said, sure, we can match. So this isn't sponsored by Micro Center. We're going there, but I made them give money to public education, so got them. We really pulled one over on Micro Center. So anyway, that's the setup. This starts with me giving a box of CPUs to Stone that AMD sent over. Someone at AMD uh, said, hey, these were in the garbage pile. I'd hate for them to get tossed. I know you know someone who teaches at a public high school. Can you give them to him? So I said, yes, absolutely, we can do that. This was all done really casually, so let's just cut over to the video and have some fun. Before that, this video is brought to you by the Thermaltake Swappable Blade Fans, available in 120 and 140 millimeter sizes. The new Thermaltake fans include three sets of swappable blades, so that even as you change builds or cases, you can ensure the LEDs are always presented on their best side. The swappable blades allow builders to get the fan frame out of the way of the lights by reversing the blade direction to reconfigure the fan as push or pull while keeping the struts relatively hidden and keeping the fan frame oriented one way. Swapping blades is done by applying pressure evenly to opposite sides, then pressing until the click. Each fan also has pin to pad connections for cableless daisy chaining, and you can learn more at the link in the description below. Okay, so uh, we are getting ready for our road trip, which is all you know right now. That's all I know. And <laughs> I tried to get information out. All you've told me is entire day, Saturday, 8 a.m. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> um, so first thing is, uh, this is all stuff for your classroom, mm. for the computer engineering awesome. classroom. Awesome. Yeah. These have been sitting around for a while. Why don't you pull them Ooh, all Oh, and a tray. I love this. This is the first part of what we're, although I, yeah. Check this out. Oh, wait. Like, that's definitely a test sample. And it's delitted, which is awesome. The, uh, so we, we have a delitted one for the classroom, which was also provided by Gamers Nexus and AMD, but the lib was not, not with us. And now I can actually show the students the lib too. That's really cool. Man, look at all this. Look at, look at all this. It's wonderful. So there's a delated three chiplet CPU for you just for like you put under the microscope. <laughs> I think he sent over 20 CPUs. It's really nice. Most of it's 4100s, 4500s. You've got the, that's a, actually I do remember now, that's a 5950X delated. Uh, so that'll get your systems modernized. I don't know, what are you using now? Maybe, maybe it might be 1300X. Yeah. But the point is, like, how, how many years ago was that? 2017. There you go. So, or something <laughs> like that. And the Intel chips are, are equally old. Uh, I think we have maybe four computers. Oh, man, 2017 is six years. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's only three years. It's not bad. We have, like, six computers that have those Ryzen chips, and we have six computers that have, I think, their 8th gen Intel i3s. And so we have 12 computers which is like half the classroom that are okay. Yeah. Like th th that'll do a lot of things like, like, cause we still teach virtualiz virtualization and stuff like that. And that'll do the virtualization stuff. On our end, I, these have now, at least at the time this video goes up, officially launched. Nice. So, yeah. uh, you saw the prototypes of those, mm -hmm. but I've got a bunch of those for you. I have a bunch of mod mats, volt mod mats, and the wrist straps as well. Those are at the warehouse. So uh, yeah, all of our ESD stuff is falling apart currently, like literally just decaying. But why would exposure to uh, hundreds of high school students cause things to fall apart? <laughs> we also have. Don't try and spend this particular money. So we raised twenty five hundred dollars for you to spend on the classroom, and then I talked to Micro Center. And they said they'll match, so you got five grand. So we're gonna go basically do a shopping spree 
at a at micro center. Uh, yeah, so you got five thousand for um, basically buy whatever in the store. Wow! It's wow! Wow! We're allowed to like spend money sometimes. Like every few years, we get like a budget like uh -huh. that where we can like spend a few thousand dollars to try and refresh things in the classroom. All right. I know you spend a lot of personal money on it too. Uh huh. When I put together uh, twenty four new new computers, I like tried to use the low end parts like the you know R three or yeah R threes and I threes and and I think I was able to get uh, motherboard, uh, CPU and RAM and twenty four of them and I. Th think it was less than five thousand dollars oh yeah I mean for the stuff you're buying wow for that classroom Man, it w so but, oh, so oh here's the catch though uh, it was rejected oh f okay. <laughs> you didn't you didn't start with that part <laughs> yeah so that's the plan so we're gonna go to micro center and uh, and then buy some stuff the road trip up to Maryland was six hours was a lot of fun and stone spent the entire time studying and pricing out parts. He also told us about what they're using now. Right now we're building with DDR2 and DDR3 machines. Like that, that, that's what certain students are learning on. And I have to like continually explain to them, this is not really what you're gonna see, but at least you're getting the mechanical, like you're learning how to put the, put the memory modules in properly right. and stuff. Probably won't ever see a pin grid array socket, but just work with it. Forty-one hundred. I forget. Uh, is it forty-one? Or it's forty-one, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. That, that's still four cores, eight threads, which again is like as good at no, it's better than almost everything I have in my classroom. I feel like playing a video game right now. Yeah, let's just go up here to the right of that darker gray car. We'll, we'll go find a manager. All right. Okay. 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 We're here. I don't know how many hours it's been. <laughs> it seems like a lot. <laughs> six? Maybe not too bad. More than six, yeah. <laughs> Lock your channel, man. Good news, man. Hey, man, I gotta get a picture with you yeah, for my brother, no, no, man. You don't mind, man. Thank you. Hey, I asked it. the guy, can I get a picture with you so he can trip out on me, man? It's my guy here, man. <laughs> you, know, you the whole reason why I got the PC gaming, man. All right, thanks, man. Okay. Hey, man, you ain't the realest dudes, man. Thank you. Come appreciate this, it. Come in this stuff, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, Thank man. you. Have a good day, dude. <laughs> Manager time. How you guys doing? Good to meet you. I'm Steve. This is Stone. Setup is basically we're we're gonna look for about five grand worth of parts. Okay. Cool. Can I push the cart? How you, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Which way should we go? Oh, let's walk around first. Dun dun dun. Yeah. How you doing? Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. What are you thinking, Stone? I'm thinking they're gonna need some racing gear for the class. <laughs> oh wait, wait. <laughs> Stone sadly didn't buy the Wheat hacks or software, so we split up and started searching the store. He took the organic approach of wandering through aisles. Oh, hey, this is cool. It, it makes your gaming better. Two whole shelves of networking stuff. That's kind of cool. And enjoying time away from the classroom. Uh, how many do you want of those? So, like, if possible, 20. 20. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, they're going to be in this. And I accidentally became a store employee. No, I like the the Meshify series in general is good. Only only last thing to know is um, we mostly shoot on like Sony A7s. I would just uh, I personally avoid stuff that's like this. Yeah. I don't know what that reason is, but the motherboards to look for. There's a lot of different boards with different sockets right now. Doing upgrades or new build? Yeah. I mean, I'm looking into the graphics cards and stuff. Eventually, a particularly hated item drew us back together as a team. I like the gaming chairs on the roof there. Yeah, they put them up high so no one uh, sits in them. Wait, that's what I need, Steve. <laughs> An 86 inch nano cell LG TV. Uh, GPs, probably. Inexpensive things that can give us video output. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Nothing best fancy. value for price with graphics devices. Okay. Yeah, we have like over a thousand graphics cards right now. Wow. The at this location? The inverse problem That's of, insane. of last year. So yeah. if you have any questions about inventory, I can pull it up on the computer okay. there. Okay, here you go, Stone. Do you need uh, power supplies? It's a lot of EVGA. Yeah, low wattage. Like 400 watts is all I'm going to need, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, we got basics. Look at this brand right here. 
check it out. Look at this beast. 400 watts. Silent $16. cooling fan. $16. <laughs> $16. Wait, I that might want to buy that. Peaks of power right I might want to buy that one. Oh, oh. Comes with the four pin CPU connector. Okay, great. For the advanced connected CPUs. This is definitely like OEM replacement power supply. <laughs> you know, like your HP power supply blew up. Too low end for public school. <laughs> Get it together. I think at the very very least, you would want like a four plus four on the CPU. Yeah, I think so. There's power spec. I don't know okay. if it'd be white, but five hundred watt. Because it's forty plates. bucks. Yeah. Is it open box? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Incomplete open. Okay, well, that's probably fine for you though. Yep, I would not care. So here's their fifty dollar one. Oh yeah, okay. There you that's go. That's the same you one. Probably grab one so, of those too. Okay. Because that's I don't think you're In the gonna cart. get much cheaper. The power supplies were going well. We had a plan, and that plan involved using the most affordable PSUs possible to power low-end systems while leaving budget for a far more complicated item, motherboards. So we have the boards organized by Intel and AMD here. Okay. And Stone had a unique angle for these. He wanted to get at least one motherboard from every vendor so that he can teach his students about the differences between the boards. It's brilliant, actually. What if we just, at very minimum, just like took the lowest price board from each vendor and got yeah. at least one of those? Yeah, that's a good start. Let's Why don't you do, do that? that? Based on the comments we see from you all every day, this is something a lot of our viewers could use as well. He wanted at least one high-end flagship board to get students excited to learn and catch their interest with all the lights and features and the cool looks. And then for the rest, he wanted to go cheap and evenly divide between each manufacturer so the kids could get experience with all the different BIOSes and the layouts. And okay, so we got these two guys. This, the lowest priced from MSI, 160. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just gonna write down the prices. So we got three by 120. Okay. And then, oh, get taller, come on. Let's say we do 20, right? 20 uh, of them and they're around $100 a piece. Yeah. That's $2,000 right there, which that's okay, right? Yeah. You're at right? 1275 for this. Okay. So, I mean, you got a lot of, you can be a little more aggressive if you want, you know, like you okay. got a lot of room here. Yeah, so I think, I think I am gonna go for 20. Okay. Uh, for 20 builds? 20 builds, okay. yeah. Okay. So you're currently up, you're at six, nine, 10. So, so these are the same as that. Yes, so that's gonna be exactly. Two right. more ninety-five. So is there anything else? So you're at fourteen sixty-five awesome. now. He's got twenty boards priced out at about twenty-three hundred. Twenty-three sixty. I've got to have twenty-five PCs built for students. Uh, I could reuse like five of the old ones. Uh -huh. uh, so we've got five MSI that puts up five ASRock. Five gigabyte and five aces. What case are you gonna get? Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, I like the the Meshify series in general is good. <laughs> Meshify C, possibly also the Apple 205 Mesh. Yeah, both those are good. This guy knows what's going on. Yeah, man. yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah. I take a lot of their advice. Yeah. I'm never coming here thinking I know yeah. myself. Good luck with your build. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah. No, 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 you're good. Okay. If we're in your way, let me know. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I see the camera. No, 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 yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the the if test bench board there. TV, <laughs> <laughs> what do you have at home? I got an old uh, radio. Radeon, okay. So you're gonna do like a full build, you think? I'm thinking of doing yeah. yeah. Are you up to date on like the newest uh, no, that's, CPUs that, and that's okay. kind of what I'm trying to get up okay. to speed about. Yeah, yeah. I give you the quick run through. Sure. Do you know what you're trying to spend on your build? Um, for upgrades, I was trying to stay under five. Hundred? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if they have a. Uh, like a 13400 would be Intel. Uh, I'm, I'm looking, but 13400 or 12400 would both be more affordable and leave some room for the board and the RAM. The AMD equivalent, probably the best value, honestly, is gonna be like a 5600. Only, only last thing to know is um, the motherboards to look for, there's a lot of different boards with different sockets right now. It's gonna be really confusing if you don't know what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, so 
for this, you're specifically looking for AM4 is the socket. So just remember AM4. AM4. That'll make it much easier. Got it. What's yeah. your name? Steve. Steve, I'm Stuart. Give them H.E. Stuart. Steve. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate yeah, it. absolutely. All right. Hey, Steve. Hey, how you doing? Sorry. Um, no, you're good. I forgot to ask earlier. Can I get a yeah. photo? Yeah, sure. No problem. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick. Uh, thanks. Least expensive M.2 NVMe drive. Like at all, like no performance. Like Not worried about it, yeah. Okay. How many do you want of those? So, like, if possible, 20. 20? Yeah. <laughs> One terabyte can be 4399. Okay. We have 500 gigabytes for 2699 as well. Anything smaller? The Prime 250 is a little bit cheaper, and there are honestly more reliable drives than the QM322s. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's is less there a storage. Prime 500? Uh, the Prime 500 is going to be 3499. So that's not bad either. A little bit more expensive, but they're more much more reliable drives than the QM322s. And then there's. Intel drives for 32 bucks. Mm -hmm. So you can see the speeds on them. So the Prime 250 is 3200 megabytes read. Mm -hmm. right? The re realistic, realistic experience I want is for them to have, we being were, able to physically yeah, we install. Thinking, like benchmarking the two different drives. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, like if we, if I got like 10 of one and 10 oh, of Oh, you want to like show the... Yeah, okay. so if, if, this, if this is the same motherboard, same CPU, yeah. same RAM, uh -huh. and then you got this drive and this drive, Here's what happens. Can I go find some GPUs for you? Yes, and then please Vitaly do. And stay here with you and... That's perfect, yep. Okay. Um, if they have low cost 8 gig RAM, can I go for that too? Yeah. Okay. Let's go find some GPUs, video cards. Stone, as I suspected, has been very methodical about everything. So let's see what they have. He was interested in 730s and 710s. A lot of people in our audience, including me, would cringe at that recommendations, but recommendation, but he was saying specifically he wants to uh, disincentivize the playing of video games during class, which these do pretty well because you wouldn't want to play games on those. So we're going to definitely look at these. 85 bucks for that. That's 55 I might just give them like a higher end card for showcasing the class, and then we buy the cheaper ones for the actual builds. So I'm gonna ask them for access to this for the 730s. Trying to find someone who's not helping a customer because I don't want to be that guy. Just break the display case. Be like, I was trying not to be rude. I didn't want to interrupt. Wham. I, uh, I should find someone who can help open GPU cabinets, I guess, if there's someone available. We can go that way next. Yeah. Okay. I'll meet you guys. Okay, no rush. Yeah. Is this pre-built? This is pre-built. With everything after tax, all the boards and stuff, we're at 3084, 18. Okay. And so we still have to get uh, graphics cards because uh, our CPUs don't have any integrated graphics. Um, and if possible, RAM and then power supplies uh, in, in that order because got to have video output. I can maybe scrounge up RAM from other places and maybe scrounge up power supplies. But I think uh, graphics cards is the next place to go. Yeah. All right. Let's go check out uh, the graphics cards. Let's do it. Probably we just pick a couple and then then we can figure out the quantity on yeah. the computer. We're at thirty three hundred bucks. That is how many boards is that? Twenty boards. Okay. Twenty one actually. That's pretty good. Yeah. 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 So we got we got twenty one boards. Uh, we got 20, 20 storage devices. Yeah, I think that's it. If you want to see the list I printed out here, so we have the two forty low profile, which is one of those sitting in there. Um, Seven ten. The 5450s, 730s with the fans, and you can see the price right here is coming up here. Um, and then the most expensive one you'd probably be walking out of here with is the, the 6400 ITX. Wait a minute. Same price here. Let's get the bigger card. Okay. So that's a 6500, yep. right? Yep. But exactly the same price? Yep. They're both I'll the take that. Right now. Okay. So it'd cool. be that 6500 right there. This? Mm -hmm. Oh! Unleash the cardboard brown gaming power. Yeah. <laughs> Taking notes from NZXT. <laughs> yeah. Are we omitting RAM from this as well? I think at the moment, yeah, because I, th I think we're going to have to budget with this with just the graphics cards. Okay. We'll yeah. see what happens. Do you want to leave this back here with them? Like, or you want to? Okay. <laughs> Three belts were over there. Can I get a selfie? Yeah. I'll be quick, quick. No, quick. you're fine. I'm going to show my son this. <laughs> he watches your videos all the time. I appreciate it. That's actually kind of a nice build. That's not bad. I guess we're just waiting on the guy to put together the list. Look at this monitor. Whoa, I did not see that. How did I miss the giant C shape? <laughs> this is an amazing store. Like, if I ever needed anything for my class, I would come here.
Too bad it's six hours away. Please come to North Carolina Micro Center. Oh, you needed a benchtop power supply? Sure, we have those in stock. Okay, that's actually pretty cool too. Yeah. Nice soldering irons. Yeah. Heat guns. Oh, wait, check this out. This is the best. This is the best. Look at this. Did you say you needed some shrink tubing? No. But it, it wasn't quite long enough, the one you had? I did not say that. Are you going to sell me it's some? okay. <laughs> we have them in four foot links and multicolors. Okay. That's actually kind of ridiculous. That's I cool. loved it. I was like, are you kidding me? That's the amazing. The crimping kit up here is nice too. Yeah. I mean, it's just like... Dang. What? I would love to have a store like this. I'm excited for the Charlotte one. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Let's see how his list is going, I guess. So we're at nine GPUs right now. Okay. Is the price up to date? 710s are so cheap. How much are they? <laughs> They're $54. Remember we talked about a mini ITX board? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The, the, the board. $180 one? Yeah. Can we I add can, that on there? I can throw that on there as well. Okay. And you said it's nine GPUs right now? Yeah, nine GPUs. Okay. What if we max out on these 730s? Yeah, this would be five total. I just got to find the price because these are clearance. So oh, it's gotcha. Like price. Okay. So is there, there's already a 6500 on there. Uh, there's an A380 on there already? Yep. We're at just under 4000 Okay. Tax. This is a great way to spend a Saturday. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You're at 4896 and then I have this one on there as well. So okay. Do we want to try and spend every last penny? Yeah, sure. What do you want to spend a $50 I don't know. On? You said 4950 I believe so. Yeah, let me put this. The other thing I'm thinking about is that, that PCI Express X1 sound card. Okay, yeah. Which I think is like $44. Yeah, you want to grab that? Yeah. You know where that is? Wait a minute. Can you tell me how much this other thing is? Yeah. So this one's 45 bucks, and it's got cool colors and an optical audio <laughs> out. <laughs> if not, we'll go with this. Let me go look that okay. up. <laughs> this is how we determine prices in the PC world. We saw something earlier without a price sticker on it, and he said it must be free. And I was like, if you say that to a cashier, they're going to slap you. <laughs> That's like the oldest yeah. joke. But I saw it on YouTube. Yeah. It worked. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, here's the thing you can put into an X1 slot. All right. These guys. These guys. So we're going to get ones from the, from the cabinet over there. Yeah. So, so if you really ones. want a cool B-roll footage of DDR3 laptop memory, that's what you get right there. Right? Yeah, the rip jaws. Mm-hmm. Yep. Real high performance. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So we're going 670s. So, just want to double check. You have that sheet in there? Yes. Solid Dime, 512. These guys. Prime, 500. These guys. 670Ps. These guys. SN 570s. And none of them were stolen from us. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, that's because we went 500 gigs. Where do we go? I guess we're going to end up in GPUs next. Yeah. 730s. Yeah. I really appreciate you buying these because I'm in charge of this section. Oh, really? And these. No, no one wants them. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I just want to see how dinky it is. I'm going to need you to parallel park that right here, sir. I'm not. Oh yeah! If you're ever thinking about efficiency improvements for your business, uh, we got this guy in here. Sweet. So this is the single fan one. I'm yeah. sure. Case wise, what are you looking to put these all in? Uh, It'll, GN has donated lots of cool cases to open into. A bunch of variety of cases. Yeah. Yep. Power supplies. Are you still oh, getting those? Okay. Power supplies. Um, we have nine of those, so I'll show you where the okay. ones are. Okay. Uh, Five hundred is what you're looking for, yeah. right? That gets another forty-one dollars off. It's a five hundred down here. Yeah. Oh yeah, them. grab that one because that one's the lower price one. That's the open box one. Okay. Yeah. Is that a Linus Tech Tips shirt? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. What's your name? I'm Sam. Sam. Good to meet you. I watch your channel all the time. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. My, my, my son. Told okay. Him yeah. IT company. Yeah. In the area. Okay. So he's like. 20 YouTube channels up and it's usually you. Yeah, we're- he loves you guys. I, well, I appreciate yeah. it. Great meeting you guys. Yeah, Thank you. Too. It was awesome working with you. Yeah, thanks again. Appreciate Safe it. Safe travels. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, it was awesome. Very, very good experience. Yeah. Um, I hope everything was uh, up to par for what you're trying to expect. Yeah, definitely. 
like, that's two stores now where I've been like, man, the staff's pretty knowledgeable yeah. at these places. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Sure. Should we take all this to the register? Yeah. Okay. All that stuff is going to the register. Okay. They're very they're prepped and ready to go. Okay. Go. Sweet. So they'll have all of your GPUs and SSDs are in a cart. Yeah, I watched you along with all the other tech channels. You guys are really big help with my computers. That's good to hear. Well, good luck with your project. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Check that out. That's pretty cool right there. I was just saying, like, the, these two guys in the end, these are the two guys that basically created the internet. Yeah. As it is today. I want to apologize now for the amount of scanning yeah, you're going to have good. to do. <laughs> And then I think there's GPUs up here for us too. Yeah, it's in the back. I'll go pick that up. Okay, cool. Wait, I guess we'll just empty the cart. As we're checking out here, massive shout out to Damien on the Micro Center team. He was awesome to work with, extremely knowledgeable, and actually very considerate of our filming needs as well. There's two Micro Centers we've walked into now. The first one was totally unannounced, didn't work with them at all, where we've been impressed with the staff's knowledge. As for Stone, he got everything he needed. We gave him enough cases previously. He went and sourced some really cheap RAM, and we bought all the rest here. Hey, how you doing? What's, What's your name? name? My name's Colin. Colin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I love your content. Oh, you you said 20, I heard 20. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to build 20. Yeah. 20. That's it's for our classroom. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, good to meet you. Good luck. Have fun. Thanks. Take it easy. I'm a subscriber. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Love your channel. What's your name? Uh, Jeremy. Jeremy, good to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. That's, I don't know. That sounds right. The total looks right. So you'll be paying thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I like. All right. It's like a CVS receipt. You know when you buy like one stick of deodorant and that comes out. Yeah. Like here. Yeah, appreciate Comical. it. Thanks, guys. Crossing the Pacific Divide. Yeah, that's right. Now the fun part. Yeah, that's us, the top one. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Hey. Check y'all later, Appreciate man. you. Thanks. There's like more strategy involved in, in packing the car. I got the biggest rental they had without going to a U-Haul. Do you have a strategy? I do, yes. I don't want to interfere. Large first, small last. Okay. There's a power spec PC. That's for me to review, so that's not for Stone's class. Um, sure it is. <laughs> I bought that. It's mine. <laughs> so, it's all mine. Uh, I keep, I want to help, but then I'm only going to be in your way. So he's got five B550 Gen 3s, MSI boards, five Phantom B550. Is that right? Five of them? Looks like it. One uh, without one Wi-Fi? Yeah, exactly right. Yep. And one Asus X570. This is good. It's Man, a haul. Five Asus Prime B550 MAs. Damn, this is this is actually really impressive. Nice. And uh, this one hasn't gotten a mention yet. Also, mine. Okay. Don't touch my fucking sixteen dollar power supply. All right. Uh, this uh, unless you're the one testing it, in which case go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, pretty good. We're all packed. It is 7.30, I think, p.m. Only four hours or so. Well, it's only 30 minutes from when we met this morning. Except, <laughs> except the other side of it. And, uh, how you doing? <laughs> and so now we're all packed up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take it back. I, it, I'm impressed. Everything fit. All right. Okay. We'll see you back on wherever we are next. <laughs> <laughs> and now that we're at the end of the year, a couple months ago, the school year started and Stone emailed us to tell us how great the experience was for all the students working with these parts to build systems. And they broke into groups. They each worked on one PC and everybody got to learn all of the individual components. They got some experience socketing parts together and they've learned about the different protocols, interfaces, the brands, the BIOS. All that stuff, it's been awesome to hear about. So thank you all to you for watching this and for enabling this type of content. And of course, thanks to Micro Center for allowing me to completely divert their plans of doing some kind of sponsorship and instead just 
basically making them give money to this classroom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more as always. We'll see you all next time.